You're gonna pay for what you did. We're not the ones you want. You're all in this together. gotten off easy, you know. It's always to catch the sellers, not the buyers. But that still doesn't change the fact that you ruined everything. Then shoot me. No. I want you to live with your guilt. I'm always happy to kill people for you, Mosquito. Nice job, buddy. Good. 42 cases of Samacorian whiskey. We'll have a lot of money if we do this right. Do this right? I'm kind of afraid to ask what that means. We're gonna sell it to the Griffin Outpost. The moon? Kiba, you know we're gonna go to jail if we get caught with the stuff? And you know smuggling gets a hell of a lot harder from planet to planet. The moon isn't a planet. Do you know what I mean? Come on. I've already got a buyer and I know it's risky, but I wouldn't do it if we couldn't. Fine. Well, me and Red will get this stuff on the ship. Just make sure you plot a course to Griffin Outpost. That was a noise. Obviously. Should we kill him? Who are we robbing again? Gray Angle. To shoot him.
Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. I have many questions. You're not dead. Well, there's one down. Okay, so, uh, here's what happened to you. Little bit of background. It's 2245, and we've just made contact with aliens from the next solar system over. Which is cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, their technology is a lot better than ours. Which isn't as cool. Even worse, their leader gets to do whatever she wants because our government's too scared to start up a war we'll obviously lose. So then this evil dictator, Bicon, tested her time machine on like a couple hours ago. And you were both at the same place, but a different time. And the rift created by the time machine created a bridge which pulled you into the future. Uh, so now she's made an emergency landing in the desert of the moon, which gives us enough time to get the time machine and get you home. This is all very complicated. It's simple temporal physics. <laughs> Not a time scientist. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. And you are? I am Milo. You've already met Dexter. You don't need to understand time travel, just the situation. Did you get that much? All I know is that you guys are the only ones crazy enough to go after this time traveling Genghis Khan. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Just be happy we're helping. Once we get that device, Dexter can send you home. I can't even get my head around this whole time traveling thing either. What do you think, Red? Well, given it's made of paradoxes and logical fallacies, the reasonable assumption is time travel is impossible. <laughs> Believe me. You travel through time. That is impossible. Check your clock. It's 22.45. It was 21.51. That is impossible. Look, all that matters is that we can solve the problem and send you back home. Through time. That is impossible. Okay. Does he have an off switch? Shut up, Red. That is possible. <laughs> It looks like she's on the main stage. So what we're gonna uh, do... A stage? This is a theater. Yeah. This place is nice. Why was it closed down? Ghost stories, dead people, something like that. So what we're gonna do... Ghosts? Come on, Moon. You know ghosts aren't real. Actually, the existence of ghosts has neither explicitly been confirmed nor denied. Here's the plan. You and I are going to sneak in there behind those two guards. You two are going to stay at the back of the room and be our lookouts. And you are going to head right for Khan and the stage on my signal. Does everyone got that? Good.
They sure got you, didn't they? All right. Out with it. What did I do with you? What did I do to you? Did I kill your family? Did no. I killed your friends? No. I don't know. Killed your childhood dog? No. Well, there's not much else that I do. When you use your time machine, you know, you might have pulled another ship in with you. Okay, one, it's a temporal time device, and two, that's pretty cool. Which one of you's from the past? Me and him. Must be a shock for you, coming from the past and all. I did not expect that to happen. So do you think if we like really cranked up the power, we could like pull in an entire planet? Where's the device? Oh, I had no idea you were in a hurry. Oh no, what am I going to do? It's a time machine, honey. You have plenty of time. You have all the time in the world. by until I find you. And you will be destroyed. State your name for the record, please. Kita Bovier. Miss Bovier, we detected an anomaly at the exact location your ship was located at 2307 hours. We were hoping you could tell us what happened. <laughs> I uh, don't think you'd believe me. <laughs> Miss Bovier, I've worked with your kind before. I know what you want. We've confiscated your illegal goods. But if you're cooperative, we won't charge you. You can walk out of here today if you just tell the truth. Are you sure? Try it. The other one's in there? Late. Like you've got anything better to do with your life? Who is he? <laughs> K Kita couldn't make it, you know, but she told me to tell you you're one of the nicest people we know. <laughs> Kita needs to be here or the deal is off. Can't we just happily celebrate the fact that we made it home? Listen, I'm just glad you guys are home.
Execute Order 66. Yeah, you turn me on. Ah. 